Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Martin. We're here at the AATS Montreal Conclave 2017, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Tyrone David. Tyrone, well known to all of us. Uh, Tyrone, Thank you, you just participated in an interesting, debate, <laughs> interesting, yeah. interesting debate on <laughs> functional tricuspid regurgitation. So let me, you know, when to repair it. So when would you repair functional TR in a patient that you're operating on? Uh, I, it has been a learning curve in the past uh, few years since I became uh, interested in that. It started uh, two years ago when uh, Dave Adams presented uh, his result where 65% of this patient had an endoloplasty. I was shocked, and I, I, because I don't do that many. Until then, I was uh, addressing the tricuspid valve only if the patient had severe TR or signs of right ventricular failure, even in past history or at time of surgery. Uh, so we start to look at this uh, prospectively and retrospectively. Right. Retrospective, I can tell you that in uh, 1,200 patients that operate 30 years ago, very, very few ever developed severe TR. To be precisely, only 2% develop severe TR. 9% develop moderate. But only 2% require diuretics because of severe TR. So TR after mitral valve repair is rare in my practice. Interesting. But we are trying to be perfect. We are trying to give the best possible results. So since 2005, we started looking at the tricuspid annulus as a predictor of a future tricuspid regurgitation. And we couldn't find. I'll be presenting in Boston on Monday that in our data, the size of the annulus bear no relationship with the future development of TR. It bears relationship with the size of the tricuspid valve. In other words, if you have a mixomal tricuspid valve, of course you can have a 45, 50 millimeter annulus. If you have a normal tricuspid valve, it's going to be a small leaflet, but a small annulus too. So maybe a 40 millimeter that the guidelines call as a predictor of tricuspid regurgitation might be valid for a person who has normal tricuspid valve with a leaflet of 18 or 20 millimeter, but not a mixomatous one that I operate every day. So who should have tricuspid? Who's, yeah, so who, who are you going to? I gonna... think anybody who has moderate or severe should have an analoplasty at the time okay. of mitral valve okay. repair. Okay. Those patients we show that clearly if you don't do, it progresses or they are the one, the two or three percent that come back to haunt you okay. with right side sure. failure. Sure. If the mitral valve repair fails, for some reason there is a very high incidence of severe TR afterwards. Interesting. Out of that, TR A -fib. A -fib. after mitral valve repair is very rare. So which ones develop if they don't have dilated annulus, don't have TR, chronic atrial fibrillation, right. and age, particularly female. Interesting. Interesting. Female more than men after age 75 and 80. So improved ventricular function. Patients who have uh, impaired left ventricular function will discover that later on they develop TR, even if the mitral valve is competent. Uh, I don't know if the septum becomes abnormal and it starts affecting right ventricular function. Uh, like the mitral regurgitation, functional mitral regurgitation, function TR is a complicated entity, more so because the right ventricle is more complex than the, uh, than the left ventricle. The so, morphology, the function. So the, the size of the annulus is not a determinant for you? No, no, it's not. We, alone. Uh, no, I understand. Alone. I understand. If you uh, have a dilated annulus in moderate TR, of course oh, yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand. Am, I, am I, to be quite honest, my main concern is widespread doing endoloplasty in everyone is I simply don't believe you can make an incision in the right atrium, you can put a ring in the tricuspid valve and say there is zero increase in mortality and morbidity. I, 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 no, I, I, I'm doing a study on left atrial appendage, much simpler thing to close the appendage. Right, right. I had complications. Patient bled, tied off a circumflex once. I mean, luck, luckily I work in an environment highly protected. I have outstanding sonographers. We find out right away, we take the stitch out. If it doesn't get better, take it to the cat lab, we we'll fix the problem. So we don't kill patients right, by right. doing this, right. but you harm them. Right. No. So so how do we, I mean how do we how do we solve this apparent dilemma? I mean David Adams and his group 
very aggressive. aggressive. Okay, yeah. and and I'm not saying that's wrong. I don't say aggression in this negative sense. But how how do we solve the problem? I, I don't know what the end point should be of a randomized okay. trial. Okay. Yeah, clearly, I think if a patient has severe or moderate GR, it will be a disservice not to do something Absolutely. about at the time of the left side lesion. If the patient has dilated annulus and no GR, no significant GR, those are the patients perhaps we should be looking into prospectively in a randomized. Okay. It should be easy to randomize a thousand patients in, in six months in the United States and Canada. Actually, five or six units can do that. Mayo, Dave, and myself, right. and take a Cleveland Clinic. Uh, we can do this in two months because each one of us do over 100, 200 mitral valve right. repairs a year. Right. And then randomize, but we don't know what we're going to look postoperatively. Should we look at uh, GR or heart or shaft being the so, advocate? What do we look at? Yeah. It, 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 survival? It's going to take 20 years to show difference. Quality of life? Quality of life and an exercise test. So it's a difficult issue to address. And I, but if you put our heads together, I think we should find an answer. Well, as, as always, we appreciate your, <laughs> your, your insight and the fact, you know what I like, you don't have an opinion on anything. No, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm a, I'm a student. I'm always asking questions. A, and a, I, if I, something I see doesn't coincide with what I know, I challenge no, it. It's I, fabulous. I, I, I mean, I, I, your insights are always good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And I hope you've learned something. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.